Yeah, we're out here in the photography studio driveway slash driveway today. And, uh, you know, here's some of the pieces I took off to uh, to get to the oil filter. There's the 2009 Nissan Frontier jacked up there. And uh, here's my Chinese jack, you know. And uh, there's the small oil filter access plate. You're looking at the top side of it. This is after cleaning. And this is the main front skid plate. You're looking at it after cleaning. And uh, here's the lower. This thing goes below the front bumper. But it has to re be removed first before you take off the uh, main skid plate. And uh, there's the whole board, okay? There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. But the outer two, the outer two, if this camera will focus, have different threads. They have machine screw threads. This one doesn't. Okay, all of these center ones don't. Just the outermost two have machine screw threads, as you can see. Okay, and they all go up from the bottom. And uh, on the main skid plate, this big giant piece, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of these. They're all alike. Okay, on that one. So that's a plus. And on this thing, there's uh, two machine screw threads. They're alike, one with the other. And uh, so yeah, that's the situation. Okay, we've uh, got the big skid plate back up. And uh, it requires a 10 millimeter uh, socket on right there. One, there's one bolt which is not necessary to back out all the way because of the big hole, you just back it out about a quarter of an inch. And another one right there. Two. Two alike. Okay, you back that one out a quarter of an inch, then you'll be able to push after you release the front screws. There's the so-called theoretical access hole for the oil filter, in case you feel like doing some gyrations. And uh, across the front, also 10 millimeter, you have uh, four, you have six. So that's eight total. You have this one, one, then this one up high, and this one, and then nothing there, and then that one, and then this one up high again, and then and then this one. They're all machine screw threads. They fasten it to speed nuts. You know those things called speed nuts or whatever they're called. Yeah. So you got uh, four. You got six across the front and two at the rear, so that's eight on the main skid plate. And uh, on the oil filter axis, there's only two for that little plate in case you want to do your gyrations and get yourself scarred up. And there's a bunch of guys talking about uh, on online in the forums about cutting their cutting their wrists on this. I think maybe in the 4x4 model of this truck, this plate is made out of metal. But uh, this thing is made out of plastic. And I guess you theoretically could cut your wrists on it or whatever. Uh, you might want to slash your wrists. <laughs> After you figure out where the oil filter is. But uh, yeah. Uh, that's where it is way up in that hole there, see? Here's my hand. Okay, I'm just an average six foot tall white guy. I can tell you. You could reach up there with some... Maybe on a lift this would be a little simpler. I'm on the ground here, but you know. And my right I'm a I'm a righty, this is my left hand. But uh I guess it's in theory possible to screw the oil filter back on back on from through this hole. With some difficulty. Okay. Uh after you finish making the mess and draining it out onto this pan and getting this pan all slopped up, you know. So yeah. Uh so there it is, we've covered the uh, main skid pan. Let me put the other pan back on in the front pan, and then we'll get back with you. Okay, we've uh, got the big skid plate back up, and uh, it, it requires a 10 millimeter uh, socket on right there. One, there's one bolt which is not necessary to back out all the way because of the big hole, you just back it out about a quarter of an inch. 
And another one right there. Two. Two alike. Until you back that one out a quarter of an inch. Then you'll be able to push after you release the front screws. There's the so-called theoretical access hole for the oil filter. In case you feel like doing some gyrations. And uh, across the front, also 10 millimeter. You have uh, four, you have six. So that's eight total. You have this one. One. And this one up high. And this one. And then nothing there. And then that one. And then this one up high again. And then and then this one. They're all machine screw threads. They fasten it to speed nuts. You know those things called speed nuts or whatever they're called. Yeah. So you got uh, four. You got six across the front and two at the rear. So that's eight on the main skid plate. And uh, on the oil filter axis, there's only two for that little plate in case you want to do your gyrations and get yourself scarred up. And there's a bunch of guys talking about uh, on online in the forums about cutting their cutting their wrists on this. I think maybe in the 4x4 model of this truck, this plate is made out of metal. But uh, this thing is made out of plastic. And I guess you theoretically could cut your wrists on it or whatever. Uh, you might want to slash your wrists. <laughs> After you figure out where the oil filter is. But uh, yeah. Uh, that's where it is way up in that hole there, see? Here's my hand. Okay, I'm just an average six foot tall white guy. I can tell you. You can reach up there with some... Maybe on a lift this would be a little simpler. I'm on the ground here, but you know, and my right, I'm a, I'm a righty. This is my left hand, but uh, yeah, I guess it's in theory possible to screw the oil filter back, uh, back on from through this hole with some difficulty. Okay, uh, after you finish making the mess and draining it out onto this pan and getting this pan all slopped up, you know. So yeah. Uh, so there it is, we've covered the uh, main skid plan. Let me put the other pan back on in the front pan, and then we'll get back with you. Okay, there's the little uh, oil filter access cover. These are uh, eight millimeter, believe it or not, little tiny things, okay? Eight millimeter. The head takes an eight millimeter socket. There's the other one right there. Eight millimeter on the oil filter access uh, plate. A little tiny plastic plate there. Okay, now the front one. Okay, now we've got the uh, lower front uh, bumper trim on. This is the uh, passenger side we're looking at here. Remember, these are, uh, what are they? Let me look at my socket here. They're, uh, uh, 10 millimeter, yeah, 10 millimeter heads on these. The outside too, that being this one, and the one on the opposite side over here, are machine screw threads. The rest of them are regular, uh, like wood screw looking threads, okay? There's one, two, three, four of the wood screw type threads, and two of the machine screw threads. One, and this one over here, too. Okay, so uh, these four, the ones with the wood screw threads, they don't screw into. They screw into pretty what I call pretty much nothingness. Okay, and now you can see why uh, you have to remove this lower front bumper piece, which I have in the middle of my uh, left hand here. This piece has to be removed in order to get out the main skid plate because there's two, okay? There's one bolt there and one bolt there. You can get those in theory without removing this piece. However, there's two more. There's one more in the, in the, on the passenger side front right there behind it. And there's another one over here in the, in the mirror image spot. I don't know if you can even see it or not, but it's in there. You have to get that one out too. That being this one or whatever. So yeah. Uh... So you know you got a, you got a pretty good slew of bolts and stuff you gotta remove to uh, get to that oil filter. 
Oh yeah, let me show you the access from the side. That ought to be a real thrill. Uh, some guys online say you can reach in from the side. Okay, we're still jacked up now. The whole car's put back together. The Frontier's put back together. And uh, there's the uh, right front wheel, okay? I'm still up in the air. And uh, let me show you where the oil filter is, okay? Going down a little lower now. Let's see if you can see it yet. I don't know. There it is on there. That white thing. In the middle of your frame right now, that's the oil filter. However, to reach in there from the side, from the passenger side, it's about 16 or 18 inches over from the uh, outer frame rail. That being this right here where I'm tapping to where the oil filter is, okay? Can you see that? I don't know. Shout it out. I can't hear you. So, now the lower skid plate's in place as you can see maybe. But yeah, to reach in there and grab that, grasp that oil filter, uh, if you had a lift it might be doable. It's extremely awkward, let's put it that way. It's what I call a sack buster or a testy breaker. So yeah, this can break your sack reaching in there to change that oil filter. And uh, that's why I take out all those bolts and stuff, you know. I had to clean up the dealer's mess, you know. So yeah, reach in there 18 inches from the side. If you're a contortionist and you have an extremely long forearm, uh, you know, or some kind of... <laughs> Christ, what a nightmare. Yeah, well, it's all cleaned up now and it's put back together, so, you know, think it over. Remember, you know, you'll need some sockets. You know, they're not very big ones. They're just little tiny ones. I used quarter-inch drive stuff, you know. This is a, it's a fun thing, you know. Uh, to clean up the dealer's mess only took me. There's a 10 millimeter and an 8 millimeter. That's what you'll need. And uh, it only took me maybe, oh, I don't know, two hours to clean up the mess that the dealer left for me. So, yeah, it's good now. And uh, no more oil blowing all over the bottom from the, from the sludge and mess and drippings that the dealer left for me. And there's the, uh, and there's the thing. So now you know, you know, you know the story on the 2009 Nissan Frontier oil change detailing out after the dealer got to it nuisance. Okay, so yeah, think it over. And uh, take an aspirin. Call me in the morning. Okay, thanks, bye.